watch or black clubs, however we want to put it, however you want to put it together in working with the police department to best respond to your needs. So when this meeting is done tonight, hopefully this will be the beginning of a number of meetings that we can hold together as a neighborhood group uh, along with assistance from the police department, neighborhood services to start to be more active in our community. And I just want to thank Don Jones, too, for putting out these flyers to areas where I didn't get the opportunity to mail. And again, I just want to thank everyone for being here this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Kincaid. We're moving to the uh, presentation portion of our neighborhood action sessions. And this is how this part works. Our department heads will give a two-minute presentation, and then they will take one question from an audience member. So we have one, two, three presentations. So that means there will be three questions. Talk to your neighbors. If they ask a two-part question, that means that's two questions gone. <laughs> so tell your neighbors only one question. <laughs> because we really want to get into the conversation portion uh, of neighborhood action, which follows our presentation. So uh, we're going to begin our presentations with our uh, Chief of Police and Public Safety Director, Alvern Locke, and he is going to, uh, I'm told, introduce uh, some officers here during his presentation. Following our police chief, we will have our Director of Neighborhood Services, Patrick Gerace. And following Patrick Gerace, we'll hear from Suzanne Wilcox from the Department community. of Community and Economic Development. I got it right, the Department of Community and Economic Development. They will give a two minute presentation and then they'll take a question from the audience. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, like I said, I am Al, Al Locke. I am the director of public safety. I'm responsible for 911 police and fire. Uh, at some point, hopefully, you won't have to call us. But if you do, I'm the person that's responsible. Okay. Uh, first thing, uh, Councilman Kincaid spoke about uh, neighborhood watches and block clubs. Uh, that's important. That. Uh, we get your names, but also we also uh, soon are going to start registering block clubs, neighborhood watches, and all those. And we're going to have a training session for the whole city so that everybody is basically doing the same thing. Right now, we got a lot of block clubs that we don't know about. We got neighborhood watches that are out here, and some of them are doing things that we don't even know what's going on. So we're going to bring everybody together, one large training session, so everybody can get on the same page. We can know who's out here, who's not out here, and we can coordinate this whole thing a whole lot better for everybody. Also, uh, the officers, these are two officers that work uh, this area. Now, we, the prosecutor got a grant for six officers that will come into this area. We had a meeting earlier today, and we're trying to finalize how we're going to put this, these six officers together. So we haven't really got it completely together, but we are finalizing how we're going to do that. And these are two officers that work this south end area. First officer is Officer Guerrero, and the next officer is Officer Wheeler. And these are two officers that presently work the south end of Flint, okay? So uh, I'm not sure if these officers are going to be one of the six, or two of the six, I should say. But these are two officers that presently work here, OK? So uh, in some fashion or form, they'll be in the south end of Flint. Also, one other thing that I'm going to ask everyone to do, if, if you have any problems in, in, in your neighborhood, we have a neighborhood hotline that you should call, a neighborhood <coughs> tip line, I think we're calling it now. And that number is 237-6812, and it should be on the back of one of your pages, back of your program there. Please call that number. 
if you don't complain, I don't know what the problems are. So I welcome complaints. Please complain, okay? Because that is one of the means that we find out what's going on in the neighborhood. Oh, anonymous tip line on the public safety. Anonymous tip line on the public safety. 237-6812. No one answers that phone 95% of the time. There's no caller ID on that phone. It's an answering machine. You call, leave your information. No one to know that you call, uh, but we'll get the information and we'll respond to that information that you give us. Okay, one question. I've been instructed. Don's giving me the look. <laughs> if you have a question, okay. <laughs> I'm speaking for all the people in our community. Uh, I know we're all concerned with the people that are having a rational problems this year in our neighborhood. Absolutely. Well, that is something that we're working on right now because right now there really is no other mechanism for you to get to us other than 911. <clears throat> but that is something that we're working on. And when we get the officer in the mini station, the proposed mini station that's supposed to be here, <laughs> I'm not making that commitment right now, okay? We, we'll have a, we'll have a number. <laughs> We'll have a number where you can call and you can leave a message for the officer if he's in the office and it, it should be manned by volunteers who can contact that officer and I'm, I'm pretty sure you will be able to get faster response also. But you know, we're not only going to have, not only it's not only supposed to be a mini station, it's supposed to be a neighborhood service center where you can call or come in, make complaints, and get other city services. So, you know, it, it's more of a neighborhood center where it's supposed to be. That's that's what we're envisioning it to be. So, I hope that answers your question. Okay. I'm sorry. I will have to talk to you later. Okay. After after we get started, I'll be here. And I can answer a lot more questions. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. As I said, my name is Patrick Gerace. I'm the Neighborhood Services Director. Uh, neighborhood Services is a new department based on six different departments. Uh, parks, Rec, mm -hmm. Forestry, Sanitation, Demolition, and Code Enforcement. Um, there's a lot going on and it's a, it's a very exciting department to be in right now. Uh, just to give you a few highlights and what we do, uh, in the demolition department, we've taken down and removed over 100 homes since July 1st throughout the city, um, including the apartment complex on Pearson and Sussex. That was a huge eyesore, and it's been there for quite some time. Um, that was a major accomplishment to get that taken down. Um, plans by the end of the year, by June 30th, are for right around 400, about 380 homes uh, should be and will be taken down.